This is an introduction to the architecture of microprocessor 8085. <coughs> this is a pin diagram of Intel 8085. There are total 40 pins. First two X1 and X2 <coughs> are crystal input for the frequency. Pin 3 is a reset out. Pin 4 and 5 is a serial pod. Serial data input and serial data output. Pin number 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 are interrupts. Pin number 12 to 19 named AD0 to AD7 are address and data bus which is multiplexed. Pin number 20 is VSS or ground. <coughs> Pin number 21 to 28 is a higher order address bus. Pin number 29 to 39 are the control and, sig and status signals. Pin number VC 40 is VCC. <coughs> Next is the signal and IO pins. This is uh, H085 is an 8 bit general purpose microprocessor that can address 64 kilobyte of memory. It has 40 pins, uses plus 5 volt for power. It can run at a maximum frequency of 3 MHz. The pins of the chip can be grouped into 6 groups. The first group is address bus, which is over here, 80 to 87, which is multiplexed. The second group is data bus. Third group is control and status signals, which is here. ALE, S0, S1, IOM bar, read bar and write bar are the pins of control and status signals. The fourth group is power supply and frequency which is here at the top. X1 and X2 which is used for input a frequency and which is connected to a crystal. Then VCC and VSS. VCC is connected to plus 5 volt and VSS to ground. The next group is externally initiated signals. There are trap, RST 7.5, RST 6.5, RST 5.5, INTR, ready, hold, reset in, INTA bar and HLDA. Uh, the last group is serial IO pods. There are two pins SID and SOD, serial input data and serial output data which contains a serial pod. <coughs> Next, the address and data bus system. The address bus has 8 signal lines A8 to A15 which are unidirectional. You, you can see here that the other 8 address bits are multiplex which is time shared with the 8 data bits. So the bits 80 to 87 are bidirectional and serve as A0 to A7 and D0 to D7 at the same time. During the execution of the instruction, these lines carries the address bits during the early parts and during the later parts of the execution, they carry the 8 data bits. <coughs> An ALE signal is used to separate them using a ledge. In order to separate the, the address from the data, we can use the ledge to save the value before the function of the data bits changes. <coughs> Now we take a look at Intel 8085 CPU block diagram. Most of the blocks are connected to 8 bit internal data bus. Here there is an accumulator which is 8 bit register and a temporary register is over here which is also 8 bit. A flag register is there it is actually a 8 bit register <coughs> but only 5 bits out of that 8 are used. <coughs> then here it is an ALU arithmetic and logic unit, instruction register and instruction and decoder which decides what are the tasks to be performed after an instruction is arrived which is connected to the timing and control. <coughs> Here this is a register array. W and Z are the temporary register which are not available to the programmer for programming. 
then B, C, D, E and H, L are the six registers which are 8 bit. Stake pointer is a 16 register. Program counter is a 16 register. And this is an increment and decrementer which is also 16 bit. Here there is a address buffer which is connected to address bus <coughs> A15 to A8 and here this is a data address buffer which is connected to the multiplexed address and data bus. Now we see control and status signals. There are four main control and status signals. They are ALE, addressless enabled. This signal is a pulse that become one when the 80 to 87 lines have an address on them. It becomes zero after that. The signal can be used to enable a latch to save the address bits from the AD lines. Then read bar, it is an active low pin, it is used while reading and write bar is also an active low pin, it is used while writing the data. Then IOM bar, this signal specifies whether operation is a memory operation or an IO operation. S1 and S0 are the status signals to specify the kind of operation being performed usually not used in the small systems. Now we see frequency control signals. There are three important pins in the frequency control group. X0 and X1 are the inputs from the crystal or clock generating circuit. The frequency is internally divided by two. So to run the microprocessor at 3 MHz, a clock running at a 6 MHz should be connected to X0 and X1 pins. Now clock pin which is actually clock out and output clock pin to drive the clock of the rest of the system. The ALU. In addition to the arithmetic and logic circuits, the ALU includes an accumulator which is a part of every arithmetic and logic operation. Also the ALU includes a temper register used for holding the data temporarily. During the execution of the operation, this temper register is not accessible by the programmer. Let's take a look at the flag register. There is also a flag register whose bits are affected by the arithmetic and logic operation. There are total 5 flags S flag, Z flag, AC flag, P flag, and carry flag. S flag is a sign flag. The sign flag is set if the bit D7 of the accumulator is set after an arithmetic or logic operation. Z flag is a zero flag set if the result of the ALU operation is zero, otherwise is reset. This flag is affected by the operation on the accumulator as well as other register. AC flag is auxiliary carry. This flag is set when a carry is generated from the bit D3 and passed to D4. This flag is used only internally for the BCD operations. P flag is parity flag. After an ALU operation, if the result has an even number of ones, the P flag is set, otherwise it is cleared. So the flag can be used to indicate even parity. Next is carry flag. This flag is set when a carry is generated from bit D7 after an unsigned operation. Reset signal. Following are the two kinds of reset signals. Reset in an active low input signal, program counter PC will be set to zero and thus MP will be reset. The reset out and output reset signal to indicate that the microprocessor was reset whenever reset in is zero. It is also used to reset the external devices. This is the reset circuitry. A switch is connected to reset in to reset the microprocessor. This is an actual picture of Intel IC manufactured by Intel Corporation in 1976. 
थैंक यू